trailing the play to such an extent. And Miles Turner is going to be the guy he's supposed to match up with, but he's not in the picture. Well, he had a lot of basketball games on this Wednesday. We even had a lot, few games yesterday too. Um, well, um, of course, yesterday the Warriors beat the Magic, the Thunder beat the Celtics, Sixers beat the Bulls yesterday, and and the Kings had a back-to-back -back after losing to the Hornets last night. They rebounded to beat the Magic, 138-135 in double overtime. Uh, Paolo Banchero had 43 points, while uh, Sabonis had a triple-double. 22 points, 23 rebounds, 12 assists. Keegan Murray had 28, but Malik Monk led the way with 37 in that great win for the uh, Sacramento Kings. Yeah. And, uh, well... The Jazz beat the Pistons in overtime, 154-148. And uh, the Knicks beat the Bulls in a great matchup, 116-100. And Andre Drummond had a double-double with 13 points, 16 rebounds. DeMar DeRozan led the way with 28 points in the loss for Chicago. But J Julius Randle had 35. Jalen Brunson had 31 points, 13 rebounds. I mean, 13 assists. But yeah, that was a good win for the Knicks over the Bulls. Raptors beat the Grizz, 116-111. Pelicans beat the Timberwolves, 117-106. And uh, Brandon Ingram had 19. Zion had 27. Meanwhile, Carl Anthony Towns had 22, and Anthony Edwards had 35. And, uh, yes. Um, but, yes, the, the Minnesota Timberwolves only suffered their second home loss of the season, though. Meanwhile, the Hawks beat the Thunder 141-138. The Cavs beat the Wizards 140-101. Um, Pacers over the Bucks, 142-130. And uh, Giannis had a double-double with 26 points and 11 rebounds. But Tyrese Halliburton had a double-double with 12 assists and 31 points. So it was a good win for the Pacers. And yes, the Pacers, including the in-season tournament, have won four out of five against the Bucks. Rockets beat the Nets 112-101. As for our local teams, the Clippers beat the Suns 131-122. Kawhi had 30 points. Paul George had 33. Harden had a double-double with 22 points, 11 rebounds. Meanwhile, for the Phoenix Suns, Devin Booker led the way with 35 points. And yes, he is the only, he is the only leftover from that 20 21 finals team. And last but definitely not least, the Miami Heat beat the LA Lakers 110 to 96. Tyler Hero led the way with 21 points, and uh, Nikola Jovic had 15 points, and Jaime Jaquez Jr. had 16 points. Duncan had 13. Kevin Love had 14 rebounds and 10 points, so he had a double-double. Bam had 15. LeBron only had 12 points in 38 minutes and was one assist shy of a double-double. But Anthony Davis got one with 12, 17 rebounds and 29 points. Austin Reeves had 24. And yes, the Lakers have dropped their third in a row and are a game under 500. And... Uh, Things are just not looking good right now for the Lake Show. But we only got two games on tap for tomorrow. The uh, Bucks play the Spurs. And the, uh, and the uh, Warriors play the Nuggets. So we'll see what happens tomorrow. 
And uh, let's pivot to the NFL. Huge weekend coming up for a number of teams. And uh, that's yet to be claimed in the AFC playoffs. Jacks and yes, the Lakers are still barely hanging on to the final playoff spot with one percentage point over the Warriors. And we haven't played the Warriors yet this year. But hopefully we can get a split against them this season. And yeah, the Suns are now the ninth seed. And, and yeah, the Clippers are now the uh, four seed in the West. They've won four in a row. And the Miami Heat and their losing streak. And yes. Yeah, Miami's the four seed in the East right now behind uh, the Bucks and the Celtics are ahead. Timberwolves, Thunder, and Nuggets, and Clippers are round out the top four. So that's pretty much it. Yeah, the Lakers are 11 and five at home, and they're six and 13 on the road. But Memphis is a bad team. We should beat Memphis. That's all I gotta say right now. Uh, peace out.